In the following videos, you're going to learn how to use one of the most popular tools like Springfox and Swagger to generate an interactive API documentation for your RESTful Web Service endpoints. Swagger is a very popular tool which you can use to actually design your API from scratch and you can then use it to generate a source code for your API in more than 20 programming languages. It's a large project and it's a very powerful tool. And of course, I'll not be able to go in details about every of its features, but in the following videos, you will learn how to configure your existing RESTful Web Services project to be used with Swagger and how to automatically generate a detailed API specification for your project and how to use tools like Swagger UI to be able to preview the generated API specification in a very user-friendly web interface. So once we have API documentation generated, it will look like the one showing on my screen right now. In the upper section of your page, you will have the general information about your API. And in the lower section of the page, you will have a list of REST controllers, which you have created in your application. And then for each of the REST controllers, there will be a list of web service endpoints, each contain a detailed description of the request and the response. Additionally to this, the generated documentation is interactive. You can click on any of the listed web service endpoints, provide the needed information for the request, and then perform the request by clicking on the execute button. An HTTP request will be sent to your RESTful web service endpoint, and the response will be displayed on the screen. And the best part of it is that there is very little configuration we need to do to our project to enable this very friendly graphical user interface for our API. And this is all possible thanks to Swagger project. So let's learn how to integrate Swagger into our application and how to configure our REST API so that it can be displayed in a Swagger tool, which you see on my screen right now. And then we will learn how to share the generated API documentation with other people as well. 